So getting the best roll gear is something quite important. If you want higher damaged weapons or armor with those max mod slots, the fastest way at the moment to farm said loot is to create saves and keep loading said save files until the loot is as desired. Well today guys, I've just made that process a whole lot quicker for you. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So as I have done for almost every single legendary I have had, to get the best rolls for said items, before picking that said item up, the smart move is to make a save file, then keep loading that save file until the item has a role that I do like. And doing this actually randomizes the role of the loot if you didn't know, no matter the rarity it is. And in cases where loot can be epic, doing this can also change some items to legendary too. This works for that also. Well, the other day I stumbled across something, guys, which actually surprised me, and it makes to farming loot and rolls a lot quicker. What this does is actually save you saving the game and keep loading that save back up. And I'm on the Xbox Series X. Loading times are quite decent. But this is at least three or four times quicker. And this will be even better on those older generation consoles. As like I said, it saves you having to keep loading up that save file. Which on those older generation consoles can take a lifetime. So as you can see on screen now. Here I am farming that same jacket you get from Pan Am during that quest. But what I actually do here to randomise the rolls guys. As you can see, is simply run away from it then run back. Now I have done a load of testing with this and although in this instance running out of combat or hostile area when all enemies are dead, will 100% all of the time reroll the item. Doing this with no hostile zone, you need to run approximately 45 to 50 meters away from the item, then run back for it to roll, as you can see me doing it on screen now. So if you do come across or know of any legendary or epic, it doesn't matter what the loot is actually, you can keep this in mind and maybe even use this for those second and third playthroughs as I know a lot of people will be watching this video thinking, well damn, this would have saved me a ton of time. So if you come across an item you don't like the roll on, only use the save and load option if you're certain running away from the item and coming back to it takes you longer. This can happen in cases where you have to mantle over obstacles etc etc. But for every other instance running 45 meters away from the loot or running out of that combat or hostile area then running back in seemingly resets the loot meaning you can reroll items much much quicker over like I said saving and loading the save. Now playing on a top end 25 grand PC with cooling features which could chill your beer obviously loading times will be much much quicker meaning the save and load option will probably be better for you. But for the poor folks like me you play on not so amazing PCs, Playstations and Xbox, this will definitely make farming better roles more efficient for you. And well guys, it is as simple as that. So just wanted to make a quick guide for those out there needing this and hating those loading times and I hope it helps you out. If it does leave in a like, it really helps me out. And if you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.